This ocean scene was modeled, rendered, and animated all within Form Z. Each object represents a different modeling or animation feature, and there is a separate demo movie for each item. In this presentation, we will model and animate a stingray swimming along the bottom of the ocean floor. And this will highlight some other ways that we can animate objects, such as using the Morph tool and animate the morphing parameters over time. Let's see how this was done. We begin by creating two spline curves which represent the outside boundary of the body. Using the NURBS by Boundary Curves, we can fit a nice smooth NURBS surface inside those curves. Uh, we can edit the controls. Uh, we can also use the Reconstruct tool which allows you to reconstruct the distribution of the controls along that NURBS surface. So we can increase or decrease the number of controls globally across the entire object if we want. Uh, we can also add controls just where we want them. For example, I can add maybe a couple of rows towards the middle of the body here. And then what I'll do is I'll start to take uh, these NURBS control handles and just move those around to reshape that object into the desired form that I want. So we'll sort of raise the sides up a little bit. And maybe towards the back, I'll sort of uh, flare that surface down just a little bit. And for the backbone, move those controls around. Now you don't have to edit just the control points only. We have an edit surface tool which allows you to click on a surface anywhere that you want. So it is simply uh, move around and uh, push and pull on that surface at any location. So there's the back and here's uh, maybe the head. Give it some uh, bulges for the eyes. And I think you get the point of how you could take a, maybe a few minutes and push and pull on that to create the desired shape that you want. Now here I have one that's already done for us by moving and pushing those controls. And I copied that and then made some other variations to that copy. So I have two different objects here. And what I can do is use the Morph tool. What that allows me to do is uh, morph between any two types of objects. And since these are both NURBS objects, it's going to morph just the NURBS control parameters. If it's a faceted object, then it'll uh, create a morph between the facets of the objects. Now at this point, uh, you can see I can right-click on the object and query any of the parameters. And there's a red dot, so that means I can actually have that parameter change over time, have it an animated field. So let's move to the one second mark. And at that point, I will change the percentage to 0 to 100%, which will then morph it into object B. And at the two second mark, what I'll do is I'll query the object again. And let's change the morphing percentage back down to 0%, which then again would be object A. So now if I move that timeline back and forth, you can see all I'm doing is animating that morph percentage value over time. And then all I have to do is apply a server style texture. And now you can see if I play that back, you can actually animate him over time. Now at this point, uh, he's spending a lot of energy flapping his sides up and down, but he's not going anywhere. So what we'll do is simply uh, use the Animate Along Path option, uh, just take that object and animate him along a spline curve. And if we want, we can go back and modify that curve later uh, to change the direction uh, of that object animating along that path. So here's the final animation movie of our Stingray created by animating the morph parameters of a NURBS object.